waiting ready everyone who's tuned in i appreciate it listen this ain't gonna be my workout we're here we'll be here with Big E today Big E's about to show up he should be pulling up any second right now and uh we're gonna work through a high intensity body weight only workout mostly gonna be upper body today we're focusing on pull-up training and reps and dips uh reps and uh push-ups so i told this i titled this video hypertrophy and strength training right so the hypertrophy is going to be all the di all the pushes we're going to have a high volume push-up workout today and in between each set of push-ups we've been working on ease pulls i've been setting them up with the bands a lot lately and he's been working on repping banded pull-ups so we're going to put as minimum bands as we can today i'm going to try to set them up in only two bands and try to have them hit just one pull-up in between every set of push-ups so the push-ups are going to be high volume and the pull-ups are just going to be one rep in between each clip the one rep pulls are going to build a lot of strength get his body used to pulling firing up that central nervous system because remember he's a big guy and he's working and building his strength for pull-ups right so when you're working in that low volume rep range it's going to be very taxing on the nervous system everything's going to be firing up so we're going to be working through like i said a lot of push-ups today there's a good push-up routine that anybody any one of you guys can follow that are looking to increase your push-up reps follow this routine because he's going to be getting a lot of reps in it's going to be pyramid style and uh he ain't here yet so i'll be rep i'll do a little bit of reps for you guys like what i can do so if you guys didn't tune in to the IG, I uh, hurt my elbow over the weekend snowboarding back to the old elbow injury, right? And it's bad again. It's probably the worst it's been in, in a while. If you guys look, this is my left arm straight. This is my right arm. This is as straight as I can open my right arm right now. I cannot fully extend. Look, left arm is fully extended. Right arm is only getting to here. I'm trying to see my physical therapist this weekend or this week at some point. And I'll put that live for you guys, but I'm also busy with clients. I'm trying to make it work. But as you guys can see, the elbow is pretty bad again. So here, let me take the shirt off to show you guys. And it always happens, bro. Right when you start making good progress, injuries always happen, right? So look. Look at the left. Look at the right. As you guys can see, the right does not open. I cannot open it. So if you guys were to see me doing pulls, my pulls are going to look... Like they're not locking out. Look at my right arm. This is me locking my right arm out. This is my left arm. So right now I got to take a few days off of upper body work. What I think happened, well, I, like I said, I busted my ass snowboarding. My last run, I went down right on my elbow hard. And I think I have just a lot of inflammation in the joint right now. I think I have to just let, lay off it, stretch the muscle out for a few days. I'm focused on lower body training. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing since yesterday to work on stretching out the forearm, stretching out all these muscles. So I've been doing a little bit of rehab on my own, showing you guys before we get into the session with E. So, yo, you want a flagpole for the, for the, for the live? Yo, we got flagpole king right here, guys. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Hold on, let me read some comments real quick. What's up, what's up? I've been doing dips, but I feel like my shoulders keep getting engaged more than my triceps. You're, you're, you're not strong enough. Stop letting your traps depress. I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in a second, Carousel. Stay tuned. Yo, Rafa, thanks for tuning in, my bro. Joseph was good. All right, hold up. Let me show you what I've been doing to stretch out the arm, right? So supinated grip. Right now, I can't even get into a push-up position comfortably because once I get into that flexion, crazy pain in the elbow right now. So I've been doing a lot of supinated stretching, getting into that protracted position, Keeping the arm as locked out and as straight as I can. And just leaning forward, protracting the scap, trying to lean into my elbow. Trying to strengthen, I'm mean, straightening out the elbow as much as, I, as possible, strengthening and uh, lengthening these tendons. Because obviously, as you guys can see, I can't lengthen my arm fully, so I have to work on lengthening those tendons, making them a little looser. Because I think I'm really tight and inflamed right now right now and it's compressing my arm up so one more time supinated grip which means underhand protract the scat push down on the bar raise your shoulder blades up lean as far forward as you can and obviously this is also really good that's also a really good exercise for plan strengthening and plan training in general because you're getting in that protracted position. You're putting all your weight onto your shoulder caps, 
front uh, biceps, wrists and everything. So that's really good for plant training as well. All right, Biggie's pulling up right now. We got Biggie pulling up. About to have to start calling him Slim E. Man, my man's shrinking a lot out here, but in a good way. E, say what up. All right, we're going to start him off with a little uh, punishment since he came a little late today. And since I'm injured, I carry shit out today. Oh, we're going ham. Yo, you got a flagpole for the gram? Yo, it's my man right here. Can't always. Follow him on IG. Oh, it's a thick bar. Thick bar. Come on, let's get it. Oh, hold that. Hold that. Nice. Planch real quick? Not right now? He could planch too. All right, so I'm going to start off E with a quick warm up, band rotations. Listen, if you guys are work, trying to get your shoulders warmed up, working on your shoulder mobility, I'm always preaching this exercise. I want you guys to watch Big E do it. Hold up, E. Let me get a band. Say what up. What's up, camera? What's up, camera? What's up? All right, so we're going to do a warm-up, just band rotations. So listen, I've showed you guys this numerous times. The lighter the band, the easier it's going to be for you. If you don't have the shoulder mobility, use a lighter band to get that full range of motion around, right? So E's been working on this for a while. I'm going to give him purple band. It's relatively heavy. A lot of tension is probably going to give. If you're using it as resistance, it's probably going to give you like 70 to 90 pounds of help, right? So E, 10 reps. Really good for your shoulder health. Straight arms the whole way. No bending in the arms. Get to where you're comfortable and come all the way around. Don't bend the arms. Don't let the arm bend. Let's go, one. There we go, two. Don't force the reps around. Each rep go further and further. There we go, three. Each rep try to bring it farther and farther around. Four, there we go, E. Five, there we go, E. Five more. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Hold that last one up. Hold that last one up. On this 10th rep, he's going to hold it up and he's going to go down into a squat, overhead squat position. Really good for hip held, hip flexibility, opening up the hips and everything. And holding that overhead position is going to train the scap. It's going to train the whole upper body, the posterior. Nah, no, just hold the squat. Just hold it. Hold. There we go. This is forcing him to keep his scap, his traps, everything engaged to maintain this position. Flat back, he's not leaning forward. Five, four, three, two, good work. I told you, a little punishment for E. It's not really a punishment. I was gonna have him do it anyways, but now I'm gonna have him do a little more, a little uh, more intense. All right, so for, you, for those of you who have never seen this before, this is a 30-pound slam ball filled with sand, right? Really good for endurance training, conditioning. It's overall going to be a full-body movement, right? But we're going to be doing it for reps, so it's going to really elevate the heart rate. Really good, like I said, for conditioning. You want to be doing this into another exercise. Really going to be work excellent for fat burning as well. So we're going to start off 10 slams, one jog. He's going to jog back. 10 slams, one sprint, and then he'll walk back. So he's gonna slam it 10 times. He's gonna go out for a jog about 40 yards. He's gonna jog back. 10 more slams, he's gonna sprint out, and then he's gonna walk back. That's gonna be his warm up. Let's get it, E. One, there we go. Two, light work. Three, four, let's go. Five, 24 people tuned in, E. Six, let's get those likes up. Seven, let's go. Eight. Nine, ten, right for a jog. Let's go. Just to the white paint, E. And jog back. All right, so check it. Warming up with an explosive movement like this, right? These ball slams or something of that nature, something explosive, a kettlebell swing. What it does is it engages the entire body. It fires up the nervous system. 
If you can engage the nervous system like that and fire it up, the workouts to come later are actually going to be more effective. You're going to be more, you're going to be stronger and more ready to and prepared to start those workouts. This is going to warm up the entire body. The central nervous system is going to be fired up and ready to get into the harder work. So E, 10 slams in the sprint. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Four, let's go. Five, let's go. Six, seven, eight, let's go. Two more, light work. Nine, sprint out, E. A little farther in the white box right now. A little farther, let's go. Sprint, breathe, E, breathe. Yo, big ups to you and Glasgow. Appreciate you tuning in. Yo, Hamza, what's good? Yo, Barit, he's going hard, bro. Bro, watch the workout we get into today. Watch him rep. Fred, how any company that sponsored it? Nah, man. Yo, send me a DM or an email on that, brother. Yeah, essential herb, bro. It's unfortunate. Yo, Andy, appreciate Yo, I can't even flex right now. See, I can't even bring that arm up. Yo, RMS fam, my bro who was good. Yo, all right. E, we got a. Like I said, it's a pretty tough routine today. I told live already. Like I said, it's going to be a push up focused workout for reps, and the strength aspect is going to be pull ups. One pull up in between every round of push ups. Now he's going to be doing pyramid style push ups. 10 down to one, and then one up to 10. That's going to be a total of 110 reps. 20 uh it's gonna be 20 total sets that means you're gonna be hitting only 20 total 20 total pull-ups and 110 push-ups and in between each set of that we're gonna be throwing in some intense little cardio bouts or something maybe ball slams or sprints whatever i feel like throwing in at the time so the focus is going to be push pull with the push-ups and the pulls and like i said pyramid style on the pushes this is how you build endurance this is how we're going to work on getting our reps up for push-ups so e Let's get to the low bar. Oh, actually, let me set up the bands first. Look, so he's been hitting about six to 10 reps a set using three bands. We use green, purple, and black. Today, I'm gonna drop the black and just keep it on green and purple, giving him the least resist assistance that he's gotten so far but he's only gonna be going one rep a set. Remember, we're gonna be doing strength training for pulls and high reps for pushes. All right, e, we're starting on the low bar, 10 pushes. And we're going up, 10, one pull, nine, one pull. So let's go, first set, he's gonna hit 10 push-ups and then right into pulls. Breathe, E. Four, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Work. Let's go. Right to the pull-up bar. Let me set these bands up. You guys can see the bar. Beautiful. So look, green and purple only. Two bands. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this one at a time right now. I'm gonna all right? Go. Yo, he was doing three bands. Now he's down to two bands for one up. This is strength training. This is how we get stronger. Nine pushes, middle bar. Let's go, E. Let's go. Let's go. Breathe. One, two, three, four. Let's go, E. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 19 pushes, 10, nine. I'm broken. Let's go. Thank you, brother. Let's go. One pull in between every set. Yeah. 
So look, normally when you're working in that low volume, that one rep range he's taking, you would be taking three minute breaks. So the pulls are gonna get hard. I might have to throw on another band to help him get that one rep because it's gonna become endurance based now on the pose. Let's go, eight. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna take a break right now. He hit ten. Nah, seven's back on this bar. You wanna go right to seven? Let's go. He's going right to seven. Let's go. Six. Don't break E. Seven. Let's go. Now we're going down on the bars again. Let's go. One more rep. Start on the low bar, went up. Now we're going back down on the bars. Well, we're going to answer questions in one, in two minutes. We're going to answer questions. Let's go. Six. Let's get it, E. One, two, three, four, five, six. Easy work. Let's go. Look at that. Every set of pushes unbroken so far. You see he's building that endurance. Ask your questions. We're gonna get we're gonna get to you after this next set. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna answer questions. Take a break, then he's gonna hit four down. Let's go, E. Breathe each rep. One, two, three, four, five. Light work. 45 pushes in. He's gonna go for a sprint real quick. A sprint and a little jump. Let's go. Breathe E. Breathe E. Third baseline. All right, walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. All right, what's good? Ask your questions. Yo, thank you, John. I appreciate you, brother. Yo, you already know he's already he's already about to be called Lil E. He's no more Big E. All right, oh, Curry, so let me show you that dip form in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that dip for. You guys want to see him? That's my man Tamer. I'll show you guys. You guys should subscribe to his channel too. Yo, Tamer, what up? Go do a handstand. They want to see an L sit the handstand. Come on. Let's go. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Let's go. Come down clean. Let's go. There we go. Yo, what's your page? Tamer Tamer on YouTube. Tamer Tamer on YouTube. Go subscribe. Yo, E. Four down. Let's go. Unbroken. Look, we're going to hit the pushes. Four, three, two, one. Unbroken. And then we're going to hit the pose after. Back 
Let's go. Four, three, two, one. I'm broken right now. Let's go. Yeah, E, they're saying your form is clean, brother. Let's go. Four, get up. Get up. Three. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Let's go. Two. And then turn around to the other side of the bar for one. Hit your two. Let's go. One. Two. Get up and walk around. One rep. Hold on top. 55 seconds. 54. 53. 51. He just hit 55 pushes. Now he's going to hold 55 seconds. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Yo, shout out to my man E also. Hooked it up with the fire Yeti. Customized with the logo. Let's go. 30. Twenty seconds left, E. Twenty seconds. Hold that. Hold that. He's gonna hit four pulls. I'm gonna throw the lightest band I got. I'm gonna throw the red band off him. He's gonna get four straight. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Four straight. Come on. Let's go, E. Pull. Let's go. Pull. One more, E. One more. Pull. Pull. Good shit. That's one round done. Let's go. Let's go. Sprint and walk it back. Let's go. Sprint and walk it back. Walk it back, E. Walk it back, E. Fifty-five pushes in, ten pulls. Remember, it's ten rounds total. He did ten down. So ten down to one, then fifty-five push. In between each set, he hit one pull-up. Only 10 total pull-ups. But remember, obviously, they're going to be hard for him. He's working in that strength-building range, that low-volume one-to-five rep range. And normally, he should be taking three to five-minute breaks when he's hitting those low numbers, right? Obviously, he just has to replenish his ATP. He has to replenish his uh, creatine stores. His whole energy stores are not getting replenished, going from one set of pushes right back to the pulls. That's why they're getting harder as the sets are going on. If we were to do 10 push-ups, one pull-up, wait five minutes, do the set again, nine, it would be more effective. Not more effective, he would be getting the push, the pulls up out a little easier. This is actually more effective at strength building because he's working under under more stress. So when he's fresh, he's gonna be a lot stronger. How you feeling, E? Uh, feel no thumb down, aspirated. Yo, we had a long, he was out here in the weekend with me too. So it was a long weekend for all of us. We were away, we were away from Friday to last night. So we we're upstate skiing. So uh, we got another round now. We went 10 down, now we got one up. Now 10 down is usually an easier variation in my opinion because the hard sets come first. As the sets go on, your lower numbers become and the sets become easier. Now we're gonna start at one. So sets eight, nine, and 10 are gonna be harder now than this set eight, nine, and 10 because we're gonna be hitting higher number reps at the end. But this is how you build up your endurance and you're gonna build up your reps doing pyramid workouts like this. And you wanna to try to hit it as fast as possible with as little breaks as possible like you see an E doing. 10, one pull, nine, one pull, eight, one pull. We went down to four, so he hit 45 straight pulls, 45 straight pushes and six, uh, six pull-ups unbroken every, every clip. Now we're gonna keep it on the red and we're gonna just hit the one pull again. So we got the three bands on now still. The purple, the black, which is the two heaviest, and the red, which is the lightest. And we're gonna be going back, one push, one pull, two push, one pull. And again, now the pulls are gonna get even harder because the break period is gonna be even shorter. One push, one pull. 
Where's the brake? There ain't no brake. Two push, two pull. The brake's gonna be real short until we get to the end. But well, watch, the next time we come and E goes on that bar and tries to rep out pulls with two bands, instead of only being able to hit one rep with those two bands, I guarantee you he's hitting four to five reps with, with those two bands. With the green and the purple band, he'll hit four to five reps. Guarantee it. <coughs> Whenever you're ready, E. And we're starting on the high bar. One. We start on the low bar first. Now we're starting on the high bar. Let's go. Let's go. One pull, E. Take 10 seconds. Let's go. Easy too, bro. Take your time. Just breathe. Just breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Let's go. One, two. There we go. Take 10 seconds. Shake your arms out. Let's go. Shake your arms out. He's about to be 12 pulls in. Let's go. It's the pulls that are going to get hard now. He's killing the push-ups. He's making the push-ups look easy. It's the pulls that are going to get hard. And remember, working in that low volume is really going to tax the nervous system. When you really, if you really only can truly max out at one to three reps, that's really going to be taxing on the nervous system. Everything's going to be fired up. He's going to be engaging all of his muscle fibers in his entire upper body, trying to pull himself up here. Just to get one rep, everything is working. Very, very taxing. This is the type of workout you're doing this. You got to wait at least 48 hours before, before you're going to try doing something like this again. You got to let your nervous system and your body recover. Go E. Clean form. One, two, three. Easy money. Let's go. One more rep. Let's go. Let's go. This is pull number 13 right now. So he's way more than halfway there on the pull. Let's go. Staying on that low bar. Now we're working our way back up. Working our way back up. Let's go, E. Let's go. Easy money. Let's go. One. Let's go. Two. Let's go. Three. Let's go. Four. Let's go. Just four. No, you didn't. You did extra rep. He did extra rep. Just because I gave him some resistance, he got all excited. Let's get this. Easy work right now. Come on. six and then break yo peace Taff. Five, no. five yeah we're gonna do five and six and then we're gonna take a break let's go let's go breathe one breathe two 
Breathe each rep. That's key. Make sure you breathe each rep. Four. Light work. Let's go. And then he's gonna get a break. Well, he's gonna get a sprint break. Let's go. Light work, E. No, 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 you're gonna take a break. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Five, six. Let's go. No, no, you gotta hit your pull. It's the pull and then the break. Let's go. That means you gotta work harder. Ah, it's good though. Your arm hurts less now because your eye hurts. You alright? Caught that one rep with less help right there because I took off the purple band where the purple band broke. Now hit your sprint. Let's go. Hit your sprint, E. Hit the sprint. So look, he actually worked harder there. I dropped the purple band because it broke, put on the black band, which is a weaker band, and uh, he caught that clip easy. Damn, eyes a little. Ooh. Stop the workout. It ain't gonna stop the workout. Yo, yo. Yo, you already know Hums the gains are made. Yeah, his sprints are good money, bro. Yo, Mike Navi was good. Oh yo, curse out right now. I'ma show you. You ready? I'm gonna show you right now why your shoulders hurt when you're doing dips. So look. Key thing is, I've told you numerous times, let me bring it closer. Watch, do not let your shoulders drop like this when you're doing dips always be pressed out so you want to come down like this and come up you do not want to let your shoulders come here and then drop down that's when you're going to engage more traps and you're going to pinch and hurt yourself all right he's got seven eight nine ten now high bar Let's go. Seven, let's go. 
Breathe. Three, four, five, six. I.E., right, I'm putting you up to roll holes. Let's go. Ready? We're going to drop now into roll holds instead of pulls. Watch. You want to build your pull strength up? You don't got it yet? Work on this movement right here. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, down slow. There we go, let's go. Right into eight. Right into eight. Let's go, E, eight. Light eight. Breathe. Let's go. One, two, three. Too easy, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Hold. Let's go. Right into a row hold again. Instead of the pulls now, super sand with row holds. Let's go. Five second holds. Hold that. Five, four, three, two. Easy. Yo, go back and watch the videos of, of how I used to do roll holes, man. This man's getting stronger and stronger every session. Let's go. Eight. I mean, nine. Let's go. We at nine. Let's go. Low bar. Last two sets are on the low bar. Let's go. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Six. Let's go. Seven, eight, nine. Let's go. Let's go. Ten second hold this set. Ten second hold. Come on. Push-ups, 10 ball slams. Let's go, E. 10 slams. Let's go. He's got 10 slams, 10 push-ups, one more set of rows. Let's go. Let's go, E. Move into that box. Move over. Move over. There we go. Right there. Right there. Always make sure you're on a flat surface when you're training. Make sure you're conscious of that. Feet flat and straight. You don't want one foot ducked out, one foot straight. Everything together in sync. Let's go. Two, let's go. Three, let's go. Four, let's go. Five, let's go, E. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yo, peace, team at 10. Let's go. 10 pushes. Let's go. Let's go. He's going to hit this 10 unbroken. Let's go. Let's go, E. Easy work. Easy work. Let's go. No breaking. Let's go. One, two, let's go. Three, let's go. Four, come on. Five, easy. Six, hold that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Rose, let's go. He's gonna rep right now. Let's go. Let's go, E. Let's go, P. Let's go, E. 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 Let
Yo. Anybody got questions? Yo, so you saw that cur cursoro? That's why you're getting dip pain in your shoulders. Watch that tutorial that I just showed you. Yo, Lost Beyond, yo, big ups to you in the UK. Much respect. M. Kush, thank you for tuning in. Yo, Danny Diaz, you can get out the chat. Yo, Rafa, yeah, I went to college for exercise science. Also, I'm certified in by NASM, National Academy of Sports Medicine. I got three certs under them. Yo, you can get the merch on my website, barnaturalfitness.com. Yo, thank you, Benedict. Yo, Kelly Stray, he's a smart man, brother. He's gonna hit one more set real quick of max rep push up on the high bar before we get out of here. All right, yo, call a number out. How many, someone call a number out. How many reps you guys wanna see? Call a number out. Call a number out. All right, clean seven. They gave him an easy seven. All right, he's gonna go to the middle bar for that. All right, seven. Aiden. How let's do go. I have a low bar for you? All right. Oh, then, then you got 15 by easy cuts. Let's get 15 on the high bar. Let's go. We got 15. We got 15. That's it. We got 15. Come on. Let's go, E. Let's go, E. Oh, he's going middle bar. He said I got 15 on the middle. Oh. Let's go. Breathe. Each rep. Easy. One, two, three, breathe, four. Five, let's go. Six, seven, eight, halfway there. Nine, too easy. Ten, don't stop, don't stop. Eleven, let's go, let's go. Twelve, thirteen, last one, best one. Up, fifteen. Fifteen clean. Fifteen clean to end the routine, you already know. Yo, I appreciate everyone who tuned in. Biggie, say what up. Yo, what's up, man? Thanks for the support. Listen. This shit is probably 20% training, 80% diet. Check out the Prez's website. That stuff is the truth. I'm proof, not even a joke. It's about what you eat. Eat right. You already know. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, yo, like the video, share it, and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace out.